Oh shit. Where the hell did they come from? Whoa, where did they come from, boys? Shoot that, shoot that one. Here, here, guns up on that side, guns up. Yeah, guns up. Holy crap! <laughs> Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back. Yes, this video gets right into it. I, I've sensed it from y'all. Y'all like it when I get into the videos and I don't mess around with the long intro. So I'm gonna make this one short. Sorry, had to come inside. It's extra windy outside. So this hunt was a small hunt from the get go. We knew it, but unexpected band. At the end of this video, I'm gonna sit down with you guys and we're gonna go through all of the bands that I can remember from this year. I have a number uh, record year for me personally. So we'll get into that after the show here, or should I say after the hunt, I guess. Number one, duck shoes back in stock. Use code Bob for the ducks shoes. We're the only ones with this camo pattern. Pick it up, old school pattern, just like the hoodies. Remember, use code Bob at duckswaterfowl.com to save yourself some money. Please use the code, it helps me out too. Number two, I am booking for this upcoming fall, 23-24 hunting season here at Sandhill Flyways. If you've already been here and haven't heard from me, I don't know, you must have missed my call. Uh, if you're new and you have never been here and you have never filled out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com, do so. I will as well as ducks link it down in the description down below. Uh, very easy process. If you filled out the form prior years, but you're wanting to come this year, you gotta fill it out again so it notifies me. So, thank you all for all your interest. It's been awesome kicking the books back open, firing up the season, this coming season already. I know, we just got out of this one, but uh, a lot of you are so amped to come this fall, and uh, so am I. Fourth year, so growing, growing, going up, and, and I couldn't be any happier. Awesome group, awesome help, awesome brothers, awesome team. Let's get into this video. I'll see you guys at the end of it. Dude, where did they come from? Come here, dude. That's a big dude. He's got a band. We got a band. We got a band. Yeah. We got a band. It's old. It's old. Damn, it's about to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Did you grab that? Yeah. We got a band. What? We have to put them in the blind or something. They're over there, yeah. Holy crap. Back up. Got a band. It's old. Get in. That's an old band. Real old. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot real quick. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this band has to be pretty old. It is worn. I'm excited. Woo, come on. Come on now. Th that was not expected. Them hoggers came out of nowhere, took a loop, landed on the right side, and we all started shooting them. That was awesome. A lot of birds out front. Alrighty then. Oh. Might come a little better without calling. Look at these three. Mm -hmm. Three on the right, guys. Get in here. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they short stop. Right there. Uh, no! Flutter over here. I gotta pee. We got a band. Come on. Come on. Out front, we're gonna take a shot on the right. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I believe they just gave us the bird. Oh, oh, look at Preston's dog, Cash. Oh, hi there, Cash boy. How are you? <laughs> Are you filming because you did something cool? Yeah. What happened? Shot a band. Oh, I knew that's why you'd be filming. Like, he wouldn't turn Dude, the it's camera Dude, it's an old honker. It's an old it's band. A honker? Big, huge honker. And it is old. Know who shot it? No, we're going to have to band draw. It, was, it, it landed way on the right side. Like, way. The whole flock did. Only shot of the day was on that flock of honkers and banded. Got like five out of it and banded. No kidding. They do it good. Well, not all the way on the right side. <laughs> all right, it's band draw time. Everybody ready? So who, really? So only four, there was only four shoot, what, so the right side you shot? Both? The right side. One, two, three, four, really? Okay, well that, hold on, I gotta redo the shell deal here. There she is. Big old dude, man. Big dude. Really warm. Right. There. Four out. Get all the four out here. Number four over there. Hi, sis. Hi, bub. We're doing a band draw. We got shells in here. See? Why do you got shells? Because we're band drawing, sis. Step back and watch. <laughs> all right, all four of you over here. Who's going first? Who's going first? First one, hide it. Don't look at it. Hide it. Don't look at it. Hide it fast. Hup. Hup. All right. Okay. Put it. Put them out there. Yours. Got her. Here's the winner. Black. Yep. Black she was. You get to take home the triumphant honk daddy. Nice. Now you got to get on your phone and call it in so we can see where it's from and how old it is. I would just sit down and I'll show you that. Have you called in a band yet? No. Never? Okay, sit down. We'll get you on the website. Are you on Wi Fi? Yes. Okay, sit down and we'll do the whole deal. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. Stink bait. You know what that means, right? So you said South Dakota, right? You said North Dakota-ish. I said North Dakota. I said Wichita or Oklahoma. What do you got? Near Newton. It's a home. Oh no. <laughs> it was banded in it. No way. Oh my, oh, it's 2013. 
She's 10. It hatched 2012 or earlier. That's an old bird. That's an old bird, dude. That's cool. That's a what? 10 year old bird. Yeah, it's 11. Was it faded as an adult? Or early, but it said or earlier. At least it lived. Wow. Oh, be dug. You guys are crazy. What are you going to do with it? It's heavy. I know, it's a big yeah. bird. Can I keep it in my room? No, you're no. not going to take it to your room. Please keep it in. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you too. You two, what are you doing in your room? I forget why we actually had to hunt that evening. It might have been really cold that morning and gotten nice, but... Neither here nor there, uh, pretty slow afternoon hunt. We had a lot of good afternoon hunts, but it seemed like the later the season went, man, on a nice sunny evening, um, birds just didn't want to react well, especially the lessers. Uh, but the honkers, it, they never failed. We would uh, hunt honkers and they would treat us pretty darn well, not gonna lie. Uh, so onto the bands. Oh, and again, yes, we were against the highway. We had done really good uh a, a different date i would say probably a month earlier basically in the same spot up against that fence and uh, absolutely raked them i think that day we shot like 55 or 60 so we knew that it would work but just given the conditions uh warm afternoon later season then birds wanted to be in the center and i really wanted to go to the center of the field for the evening but i knew two things we didn't have a lot of wind uh and laying in it was going to be really tough without any wind when you lay in the socks if they're not plumed up man it's hard to hide so did what we could still scratch an awesome band extremely old honker this year we shot way more honkers than usual um we're not a big honker guide service right a lot of lessers the small candidates you know like small like this guy like them two little guys like small dudes and then you know us we like our specs our snows and of course them ducks but uh this year i think the lodge the lodge harvested 11 bands total and that was in our three and a half month hunting season the fall that wasn't that's not even including conservation because we didn't kill any during conservation snows so three and a half months 11 bands Three to four being honkers, three to four being um, lessers, and then a couple snows. We did not kill a speck band this year. Oh, and we killed two duck bands, I should say, the Woody and the Mallard. Nine of those bands were all on my hunts that I guided. Uh, Gerald and then Aaron, they, were on, they had their own hunts as well with bands, but it was just crazy. It seemed like every other hunt that I guided, there was a band. I was the band magnet this year by far, and it was just crazy. <laughs> like Gerald's going, what the heck, dude? Like, are you, are you spotting them out there? I'm like, no, um, I have no idea, you know? And just an awesome year, lots of amazing memories made. Um, it seemed like whoever won the band every single time, uh, it was their first one. So a lot of them brand, banded birds um, got mounted. So it's pretty special. Sand Hill Flyways providing extreme experiences, extreme memories uh, that folks get to take home with them. And they get to go back and watch the videos on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. Check it out. We got some cool stuff that I haven't shown you all yet. This is from the Cancer Council. We did uh, the two-man auction. Haven't got to show you guys this bad boy. Finally got this back. Mm -hmm. Stud can, amazing bird. Thank you to Kurt, he killed it on the mount. But here's the map, y'all haven't seen it in a while and it grew quite a bit this season. These are all uh, pins, folks, where they're from, it's crazy. Right down the center, it's all this side of the nation. There's not a lot from the west. More this year than normal though, we need to, we need to get some more folks from out west. Come on, yo. Like I said before, if you're looking to come to Kansas, you and your group usually do that guided hunt, corporate hunts. Come on, we can provide amazing experiences for corporate groups. Um, we have way more corporate groups than I ever thought we would be in our third year. And now this fourth year, I think I've booked five or six or eight uh, corporate groups already. Guys keep coming back and they're like, dude, we're coming back. We've been looking for a home. We do this every year and you are our new home. Thank you, Bobby. And I'm like, no, oh, 
thank you. So thank you guys so much for your interest in coming in here and supporting what I do and my family and my folks and my brothers and my friends. And, and we love providing for you all. I, I wouldn't change anything. Not one thing. So if you're interested in coming to Kansas, like I said, fill out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com. I'll link it down below as well as all them ducks gears. Uh-huh. Remember, use code Bob at checkout. Save yourself some money. Uh, I really appreciate y'all um, from the bottom of my heart without all of you viewers. Number one, I wouldn't be here. And then number two, all you father sons that come to the lodge from YouTube, right? Thank you. Thank you.